So in the previous video I showed you how to group by multiple fields to make your data a little bit more granular. Um, so basically this by and this, this group by, I guess, there's there's two inputs into it. There's the there's the expression on the right, but there's also this expression on the left I've kind of ignored. And generally when you're grouping, you're grouping the same thing that's incoming. So in this case we have customers, let's group the customers. But I don't, don't necessarily have to group the customers. I could group attributes about the customers. So I can actually drop another projection thing here. Remember a group is just like a select where you could kind of think of this as select this by this. Okay? So so I'm going to replace C and just cuz I can. Well, actually I could say I don't need to do a new. I could say say group C dot contact name. That's all the data we're really interested in. But if I want to do multiple values, I can I can uh, do an anonymous type or uh, multiple columns or whatever you want to think of it, multiple fields, and say contact name C dot uh, company name. Okay. Either way, it doesn't really matter. The, the, the there's a slight difference, not really between having an anonymous type there for multiple fields or just by doing one field. Let's just do one field to keep the example a little less um, textual. Uh, let me just show you the translation. Translations of this query. I'm going to get rid of the order by we did in the last video and just translate this straight up because the order by doesn't really make a difference. Let me grab this, copy, paste, result two, and then the from just kind of, as you know, defines the variable name and the source. So let's take the source here, db.customers. I'm going to paste it, and then we got the dot, uppercase, and then we have to say group by, parenthesis, but notice. In the previous videos, we just did the key selector, which is this thing out on the right. We're selecting the thing that's key, or what? What? If we're going to put people in groups, what's the key attribute that they share amongst each other? Is it their their uh, center of nationality? Is it their preference in in food taste? You know, who? Whatever. It doesn't really matter. So, so that's the key selector. This is this is the thing that usually varies. Is this thing out here? Usually, we just say. C on for the group part, and then the by is actually where things get interesting. But now in this case, I, I, both are interesting. C dot contact name and and this other thing out here. So I have to swap these. It's kind of interesting, but I got to swap this. I got to. This is the key selector out here. I'm going to drop that there and make this into a lambda. C is our variable name, right? Remember C. And then there's our key selector. But now. I put a comma there and I get the wrong IntelliSense overload. We're going to do an element selector. And how nice they call that selector. I told you a group is a little bit like a select. It is selecting. It's In this case, I'm selecting the contact name. All right? And when I group, I'm going to select these two. Anyway, so this, the, the element selector is the contact name. So again, C, variable name comes from here. And then the by, which is, disappears. Parenthesis. There you go. There's our, our group by now. So it actually resolves to a different overload of group by that takes two arguments, both of them being delegates, um, the key selector, and the result selector. And then, and just of course, as always, for each var group in uh, result two, which is an i-enumerable of i-groupings. Uh, just like I did in previous videos, group.key is the country name plus a colon because I kind of like nice output and then for each for each this is where it's interesting now what's our group our group is a list an I enumerable of not customers it's an I enumerable of contact names which are strings so I can actually go down here and say string s in the group in fact let's not call it s that's a terrible name let's say contact name in the group CW spaces again like in previous videos with the contact name control F5 to run that hopefully we get some good maximized console window results okay same thing as we had before a lot many more groups because we're now a little more granular in our selection but anyway so on and so forth so there's there's grouping by we are, we already we already changed this up a little bit but then we're literally just selecting or projecting something else out of our data